worship through one more song together. The Holy Spirit is so good. He's so good that he offers a rest that the world can't give. He's a love like no other. 
Isn't God good, church? Psalm 146 says, The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous and protects the strangers. He supports the fatherless and the widow, but he thwarts the way of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations, let them praise the Lord. Man, he is good. He is good. I don't know how you came in here today, but I know how you can leave here today. Full of the loving, loving, loving spirit of the living Father. How many of you believe that the word of God is alive? Come on now. But if we can get real, somebody say get real. real. Sometimes we have to lean back into the arms of the Father and just let Him heal us. Listen to me say this today. I want you to look up at me. It's okay that you're still healing. Somebody tell themselves, come on. It's okay that you're still healing. It's okay. It's okay that you're still healing. Could be something that happened 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Listen, there is no shame. He bore your shame. You imagine having the power to come off the cross and staying there while being mocked. While those who you are dying to save, as Jesus did, tempting him, speaking to him. You're such a big man. You're such a big Jesus. You are who they say you are. Then why don't you save yourself? Man, how many times does the devil try to tell us to save ourselves? We can't do it, church, but he can. And his name is Jesus. Come on. In case you haven't noticed this wonderful open window, how many of you didn't even know this wall opened up? Come on now. <laughs> right, you're like, what is happening? Did they cut that wall out? Like, no, we, we're not that crazy. We're crazy. But uh, we're not that crazy. Uh, with, behind these beautiful doors here uh, that were there before is our baptism tank. Uh, and I'm excited. We had one person get baptized in the 9 a.m. this morning. And we have four individuals being baptized today right here. Let's go. After the first service, I said to the young man that got baptized, I said, you know what's so cool about Baptism Sunday? Most of the church will forget everything I said because the greatest sermon you're about to hear is from these individuals. And he just looked at me, he's like, oh, isn't that like sacrilegious or something? Like, no, 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 you don't get it. Jesus, in obedience, looked at John the Baptist. And John said, no, 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 come on, Jesus. You know, you're supposed to baptize me. And he said, hey, I don't answer to you, I answer to the Father. And so according to the Father, today I walk in the waters of baptism. So John, stop talking and let's do this. And it says that in the moment that the heavens opened, 
and that the Spirit ascended. You understand that obedience opens the doors of heaven. You understand that when you walk, I mean, listen, go back to somebody say, read your Bible. It says that when the priests who held, go back to Old Testament, say Old Testament. I just got to make sure you know where I'm preaching from for a moment. It says that the priests who had the Ark of the Covenant, which was symbolic of the Holy Spirit, right? It says that they did not, now hear me, come on. When they began to walk in the water, it wasn't until the water was higher up on their leg that as they were walking, the seas began to part. You see, sometimes you're going to be able to speak to the waters and say, hey, move, let's go. I got a job to do in Jesus' name. But sometimes you've got to go ahead and kick off your shoes and you got to walk and you're like, Lord, you told me to do this. I feel a little silly right now. I don't see the waters parting right now. I don't see them and I'm walking and I'm walking. And then all of a sudden, there it goes. And the seas are parted and you walk in the land that God promised you. And then at the end of it, he says, hey, do me a favor. While it's still open, go back and get 12 stones. Go back and get the stones. And remind the next generation, put the stone over here, right by your house. And remind the next generation of the things that God has already done. Just in case they lose faith one day. Just in case they wander and, and, and go away. Just in case they forget how big God is. Tell them to walk outside of your house and see the cornerstone. His name is Jesus. That God is your true provider. And so I'll say this to you again. I don't know how you came here today, but I know how you can leave in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your mercy, your love. We thank you that you're with us, that you're here with us, God, till the end. And I thank you that you'll never leave us nor forsake us, Father. Lord, we give you glory for what you've already done. And we thank you, God, that we are still healing and that it's okay. But we give you glory in the midst of any trial and every victory. And we thank you today, Lord. We pray for those that are going to be water baptized today. Lord, we just celebrate with heaven today in excitement for the good things of heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, all God's people said, amen, amen. amen. Let's celebrate the Lord this morning, church.